Hi, welcome to the Ransomware Defender AirGap 2.0 feature overview. We're going to walk through a demo of how to configure this, this new feature. So we'll open up the AirGap icon, that's new. You'll see there's four AirGap policies listed already. We'll go through how to configure a new AirGap policy. So the policies that you create on the production cluster, these will have a prefix in the name. That's how our software knows that it will be used in an AirGap scenario. So there's a few things to point out here. So there's the prefix that has to be added to the name of the policy that puts it under control of Ransomware Defender. The other is there's no schedule needed because that's controlled by Ransomware Defender because it will not copy data if there's an active threat to the data. That's the key feature we call that smart air gap. So we'll give it a description. We'll enter a path. And then there's a, an important aspect of, of the solution is how the air gap is open and closed. So in the deployment, you will end up with a two hop network between the production cluster and uh, the vault cluster, we'll call it. And to do this, we were going to add and delete a static route, which we'll get to in a second. But once that's in place, um, we need to force that static route or that sync IQ traffic to take a particular route. And so we're going to create an IP pool that will be dedicated for the air gap. And then we will select that uh, IP pool when we create the policy, which we'll do here in a second. But you'll create the restrict from source option when you create the policy. That'll force Sync IQ to use that pool. And of course, we will add and delete the static route to that pool that controls whether or not uh, the network is able to reach the vault isolon. And we call that the virtual air gap. So that policy is now created with uh, you know, default manual configuration. And we set the, the IP pool. So now we need it to, to show up in the air gap GUI. So uh, for this to happen, we're going to run a configuration job. And we'll just speed this up. So we'll just click the button. So this runs discovery. This identifies any new policies. This would normally run on a schedule. So once it's found it, because of the prefix, it'll show up automatically here. It's not a DR policy, so it won't show up in your jobs window like it normally would. Now, when it's initially discovered, it has no schedule. So you have to decide how often you want this particular policy that's protecting some path on the cluster, how often you need that data maintained or in sync. So there's a lot of flexibility here, but we'll go through the, the settings of the static route. So this is the route that's added on how to reach the target vault isolon. So it's, it's going to be a subnet, a mask, and an IP address, and that'll be an intermediate Ethernet switch that's going to route over to that Vault Isilon. We're also going to configure cron. Now, this is a, a very powerful capability to schedule a, a replication any way you want. We're going to have some defaults, you know, uh, hourly, daily, weekly. We'll have some pre-built defaults, but you can control how that, that replication schedule works pretty easily. So we've done that. We're going to run every two minutes just for this demonstration purpose. So that's telling you the next time it's going to run conveniently. You know, then we've saved it. And so there's a column saying last run. There's no date because that policy hasn't run yet. So we're going to track that. You'll notice the column says air gap state and it says route closed. So that tells me that uh, currently the Vault Isilon is not reachable because the network has been uh, brought down by deleting the static route. So there's no route to reach that Vault Isilon at this time. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit um, for that to kick off and then we'll, we'll be able to use the, the job history tab, which is all of the history of the jobs that run the air gap uh, feature. You can see that tab there on the left. So two of them ran, the one we want plus another one, which is fine. So we can see those are running all the steps are completed and now you'll see there's a, a last run date stamp now it says okay so that means it's uh it's executed correctly it's opened the network it's finished the copy and then it shut it down and closed it again so that data is safe 
if you click on a job, you can actually see all the steps that it's running. It's pretty easy. You can see the static route, add, delete, run policy. And we capture the, the bytes that are replicated. So you want to monitor your, your vault replication. And you'll see this is the raw data here. This will actually end up in uh, a report, the normal RPO report. You'll end up being able to track your replication. But this is just showing that you know the data is visible here in the GUI uh, pretty easily. So this is a, an overview of the feature. Thanks for watching.